The first thing you need to know about blocks in TypeBot is that you can aggregate them into groups. So by default, if I'm dropping a new block into my board, it will create a new group called group number one. I can also rename it. And now if I'm dropping a new block, I can also drop it into the board and it will again create a new group called uh, group number two. And then I can connect my groups together, preview it. And as you can see, the two blocks are displayed. But you have to know that grouping blocks into groups is a best practice. So this second block, because it's uh, connected to the previous block, you can just add it below the previous block. So let me delete that and drop it above or below the previous block. They will be grouped into the same uh, welcome group. And as you can see, by default, two blocks in a group are connected to each other. So block one is displayed and block two is displayed. And also the chat looks better because now we only have one avatar for this specific group. Uh, let me show you again if I'm dropping the block number two uh, separately. It will uh, actually create two avatars and it doesn't really uh, look good, right? So you have with TypeBot the freedom to create any kind of flow. Uh, this is why this kind of flow is working. But there's some best practice that I want you to uh, learn for specific use case. So let me go through some examples. So as you can see, you can create this kind of bot uh, where each block is in a separate group. So the problem with this kind of flow is that first, I think it doesn't look very clean. And second, um, the problem with these groups is that it will display for each bubble a new avatar. And as you can see, it looks a bit weird, right? Uh, I would want uh, these bubbles to contain only one avatar. So yeah, there's, there are some issues with this kind of flow. So we can refactor this to uh, the, the second example, where in fact, every block can be in the same group like that. And, you know, the, the issue with the avatar is now fixed. In fact, with the Tybot, uh, you can... You could build an entire chatbot in a simple group, but then it is hard to edit this flow to know where I'm at. And you know, it's not really a best practice. So my way of fixing this is a simple rule uh, that I tell myself uh, is that um, I'm creating a group for each question. So as you can see, the first group for the first question, which is, how are you, uh, will contain all the blocks that introduce this specific question how are you? And then the second question, which is what's your name, will be grouped into the group number two. And in my opinion, this looks comprehensive and there's no issue with the avatar uh, at all. So that's really cool. There's another best practice in block management that I want to show you is, uh, for example, if I'm creating a new block from the customer support template, for example, if we want to create a restart button like this one, uh, we might think that it's great to just, okay, connect it to the start, to the menu. But then we, we have this kind of arrow that go through the entire flow and I can't see uh, which arrow is connected to which. So that's kind of difficult to understand. So you can just uh, remove this connection and you can use, sorry, I'll move my head out and you can use the type bot logic block where you can say okay i want to uh, jump to a specific block into my current type bot for this one and i want to jump to the menu and now every time we'll hit uh, restart it will jump to the menu and we don't have to connect an arrow uh, that will doesn't look very good in our flow so that's another tip uh, another best practice to create a clean flow. And hopefully uh, these tips will help you build your next uh, bot. Thank you for watching.